on Tony's team. I love it. It's a lot of fun. The girls are a lot of fun. I love getting coached by them. It's way different than my last team. And every travel ball team that I've been on, it's been such a great experience. But I feel like this is a really good one. And I can't wait to like see what it comes. Because I'll have three years on this team. Honestly, I like training here because you're with your friends, but you know like when to kick it in and you know when to be serious about things, but you also know like, okay, there's this like funny side to it. It's also really independent. And then when he comes and talks to you, Tony meaning, a lot of the things that he says like helps you and makes you such a better player on and off the field. Actually, we just drove to the hospital and then I was fine. I mean, I had to go to the ER. From that, I went to go see my orthopedic doctor, which gave me a better brace. So yeah, that's where I'm going right now. To the full thing. We're working on framing. So we're getting all geared up so we can work on the low ball, the high ball. A lot of times our kids just throw like drop balls and stuff and it helps them to get the strike because it's, if it's low, the umpire might think it's a ball. If you like, if you do it right, he'll be able to see it correctly and you can get the strike for her. So Kennedy's coming off an injury. Sometimes when you've been hurt a while, it's kind of like relearning the position. So she's just getting back into catching, and we're kind of just getting her comfortable with the position. It felt good, surprisingly. It didn't feel too weird, but I'm excited to catch. That's the thing. So right now we do diamond catch, so we do it like before every pregame. But we usually go like kind of in a square, but right now we don't have that much room, so we're going across. And it's kind of just to build up like the technique, which is like overhand, and then after we do overhand, we do like sidearm. And we start slow, like checking our technique, and then we go to like rhythm, and then we build up speed as we go, and then we do that whole thing over with like with side arm. In the game, it's like the different arm angles for the different types of like situations. 
like I play short and I play outfield, so an outfield uh, like downward trajectory when the ball is going down is kind of like the beginning of the square. And then at shortstop, if you're going turning a double play, you go sidearm for like quicker, and that's like the second round we practice. So more basic fundamental drills, rolling the ball, we call this a left-right bow. It's just little ground ball in front of the fielder. They're just taking two steps with a quick release. The whole thing is to make it smooth. Right now we're working on our throws with downward trajectory. So having the net there kind of makes it like either you hit the net and you hurt yourself or you have to do it right. <laughs> During this time, our practice, a lot of what we call fundamentals, a lot of just drills, keeping it light. A lot of them are training a lot with our high school teams so they're getting a little tired. So we don't overwork them here, but we keep working on all those little things that we need to pull together. It's February right now. Um, we're gonna tighten things up in late March, April, come May, really tight, and then we start competing in June. So this is a great drill to develop footwork. So we want to keep our infielders really light on their feet. So we have them bouncing on their feet, similar to like how they would with a jump rope, or similar to like what we call a boxer's bounce a little bit. So staying light on their feet, their heels are never touching the ground, and then they're just using the pitch back to again, concentrate on the ball, transferring into their glove. Sometimes they catch it, sometimes they don't, but it's a great conditioning drill. So my suggestion would be to get one, maybe two pitch backs, put the players on there for one minute at a time, times five. So five minutes total, it conditions their legs, keeps them light on their feet, and it's a great drill to create rhythm in your play. the little things in life. I mean, softball is something that's here and it'll be gone tomorrow, but skills like this we love. Show is very fashionable and this one's like, you, you can wear it as like a choker. As a you can wear it as a choker or you can wear it as like a Gucci. <laughs> Well, we like to close it with a little discussion about this or that, so I think tonight what we're going to do is talk a little bit about how to maintain your professional composure in different environments. Sometimes we can get distracted, and then we'll wrap it up and we'll get out of here for tonight. It was another good night though, it was fun. We are programming what? We're programming our minds, we're programming the behavior to be a certain standard. All right, so do you understand that when we're creating the standard, it's not to expect everybody around you and everyone that you deal with to be on the same standard. So if we increase your self-awareness and you're aware of yourself and you're aware of how you want to be, then you get distracted less. But can we agree? There's a lot of distractions. When I talk about the standard of dignity, when I talk, talk about the standard of your integrity, the standard of your beauty, don't compromise that. Don't give anybody or anything the power to take your dignity away. Promise yourself. So it means don't just mention it. Promise yourself. Promise you. Promise yourself to thine own self be true. Promise yourself to be so strong. To be what? To be so strong. So you have to set a standard of strength. 
that nothing, zero, you don't have the power to break me, you don't, and it's really hard when there's people that we care about aren't, that aren't treating us right, and then we give them the power. Don't do that in your relationships. What's the most attractive thing in the whole world? Okay. Your happiness. These standards of how we act and how we think, you're gonna start finding, like when you notice that in other people, you're gonna start aligning with those people. Those are the people that professionally you wanna align yourselves with, right? And compliment yourself with different types of people. So I think it's important to talk about that because right now you're in the high school swing of things and just distractions are a part of life. It just happens, right? So maintain that dignity and uh, you know, remember the standard, all right? And then when you're in an imper in, in imperfect situation, you're there to make that situation better, okay? All right. FC at 30, one, two, three, FC! Woo! <laughs> I like today because I did like a bunch of like variety of things. I like hit and then I fielded and then I did tag. It was really, I liked it. Just getting to see your teammates, like, just everybody being together. Just being with friends. Yeah.